The Seneca Park Zoo has announced they've partnered with the Cincinnati Zoo and other organizations to participate in a procedure that's never been successful, all in an effort to save a species with dwindling numbers. Christian Garzon was at the zoo earlier today and has more. There are only 11 breeding pairs of polar bears still in human care at U.S. zoos. Dr. Louis DiVincenti and his team at the Seneca Park Zoo are spearheading an attempt at artificially inseminating their 22-year-old polar bear, Enoki, and bringing the number of this decreasing population back up. It's incredibly critical. This population that we have in zoos is not sustainable as it is now. Uh, we need more polar bear births in zoos. DiVincenti says what we have in the U.S. is what we have for polar bears in zoos. There are restrictions on importing them from Canada. According to the zoo, the procedure went well. They hope. Dr. DiVincenti says there's usually no way to tell if a polar bear is pregnant until the cub or cubs start to arrive. They develop all the same behaviors as if they're pregnant uh, without being pregnant necessarily. Female bears can gain up to 150 pounds and den up, perhaps exhibiting behaviors of pregnancy, but not actually be. This is the third artificial insemination attempt on Anoki, but the first here. Later this year, we should know if the procedure worked. From Seneca Park Zoo, Christian Garzone, News 8. Thanks, Christian. Polar bear insemination has been attempted with mul multiple times since 2012. If Anoki produces cubs, she will be the first successful pregnancy via this method.